Hi guys, welcome to Angora Hangover again. I'm Tinda and today we will deal with a new topic related to shopping and that is complaining. First of all, what is complaining? Complaining means when you want to express your unhappiness about something. For example, let's suppose you bought something on the internet and you're not satisfied with it, then you might want to make a complaint. So here is our first expression to make a complaint but you can also use the verb to complain or to lodge a complaint, which is a bit more formal. Actually, I collected the most typical phrases about complaining. You might use this whenever you want to make a complaint. Here is the first expression. I would like to make a complaint about the product and you can continue the sentence describing the item and also the problem. But you can also say, I would like to complain about a product or an item, whatever you bought. The next one that you can use is this one. I'm sorry to say this, but I have a problem with, and then you specify your problem once again. But you can also say, I'm afraid I have a slight problem with, and then again, you say the problem with the product, with the purchase with the item or even in a restaurant you can say with my food. You can also use the following sentence I'm sorry to bother you or I'm sorry to trouble you but I have a problem and again you can say what the problem is. Let's see another one which is a bit more formal. You might use it in a formal letter as well. There seems to be a problem with and then again you say whatever the problem is. If you want to be a bit more specific and emphatic, you can say, I hate to make a fuss about something. To make a fuss about something means when you're totally annoyed about something and you want to express your annoyance. By the way, you can also say regarding complaining, I'm totally annoyed about or I'm very annoyed about something. And again, you say a noun, a phrase that you're annoyed about. Let's suppose, for instance, you order the food in a restaurant and uh, the food didn't meet your expectations because it's lukewarm. And you can say this phrase, I hate to make a fuss, but the soup is lukewarm. And then you express your problem and your annoyance. If you're not satisfied with something, of course, you could say, I'm sorry to say, but I'm not satisfied with, for instance, a service or with your service. You can also say, I'm fed up with your service. It's a bit more emphatic and stronger. Also, when you say, I had enough of something. And another one, which is pretty similar to this one, but rather idiomatic is this one. I'm sick and tired of something. I'm sick and tired of your service or of your poor service. So you can see there are many different ways to express your annoyance and your complaints. Let me give you a few more just to see how varied the language is. Let's see, I'm rather annoyed about. So when you use the word rather, it puts an emphasis on the sentence once again. But you can also say, I was expecting something, and you say what you were expecting, and again, express your complaint, your problem. However, when you're writing about your complaint in a letter, you might use this phrase as well. When using this product, I discovered some faults, and you have to give the details about the faults, whether it was with the size, with the quality, with the delivery, whatever. So always remember, when you want to express your annoyance, you kind of have to do it nicely, being emphatic on the one hand and being um, polite on the other hand, especially if you want to get some compensation. So therefore, let me show you the last two uh, phrases for today, which uh, are much more polite. You could say, I wonder if you could help me because I have a problem with. So once again, 
I wonder if you could help me because I have a problem with, and he say again, the problem. Or I would be really grateful if you could help me. And again, you specify your issue. So guys, there we go. I do hope I managed to give you some ideas how to express your annoyance and your complaints. As I said, try to find a balance between being formal, between being polite and being emphatic. In the next episode, I'm going to teach you some phrases that you might get from the other side. So basically from the vendors or sellers or service providers. And you will see how they are reacting to these complaints most frequently. Until then, don't forget to revise the phrases, practice them, put them into practice. That's the best uh, way of learning. And if you like this video, you can give us a thumb up. And also, if you haven't done that yet, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Thanks for your attention and see you in the next episode. Bye.